am Supriya studying 10th standard from TSWRS Junior College COE Madikonda. Before going to our topic, recently I went to Taj Mahal. The monument was very so beautiful. I asked my teacher how it was built. It, my teacher told me that it was built according to golden ratio. So what is golden ratio? Before going to know about golden ratio, we need to know about Fibonacci, Fibonacci sequence. What is Fibonacci sequence? Fibonacci sequence is a sequence in which each term is a sum of two numbers preceding it. Let's see how it forms in numbers. Here, 1 plus 1 equals to 2, 1 plus 2 equals to 3, and 2 plus 3 equals to 5, and so on. The set of Fibonacci numbers are 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and so on. So, these Fibonacci numbers was discovered by Leonardo Paisano, who was called by his nickname Fibonacci. So, this Fibonacci discovered these Fibonacci numbers by great rabbit experiment. Fibonacci put one male rabbit and female rabbit in a field and he supposed the rabbits sleep infinitely. So for every month, the male rabbit and female rabbit reproduce one male and female offspring. Following the Fibonacci sequence perfectly, the number of rabbits was determined by 144. So, do we find this Fibonacci sequence in nature? Exactly, we find Fibonacci sequence in nature from the leaf arrangement in plants and to the florets of flowers. See here, it has one petal, it has two petals, it has three petals, it has five petals, it has eight petals, it has 13 petals, it has 21 petals. So as I told you, the leaf, arrange, leaf arrangement in plants is according to Fibonacci sequence. Why this was happened? This was happened because in order to capture sunlight for each one, we find Fibonacci numbers in, in the flower heads. See here, there are 55 spirals spiraling outward and 34 spirals spiraling inward. So this is called as Fibonacci spirals. We find this in most of sunflowers and dicey. There are many examples of Fibonacci spirals associated in nature. Examples are snails, seashells, waves, combination of colors, roses and etc. But we have few, less time to study this phenomena. See here, the one unit square is attached to the another unit square and these two were attached to the two unit square and this were attached to the three unit square and so on. If we join the diagonals of the squares, we, find, we will get a spiral. So the length and breadth of this rectangle is in the form of 1 is to 1.618. So, it is called as golden rectangle. If we, if we keep learning Fibonacci numbers, we get an interesting term related to Fibonacci numbers. It is golden ratio. So, what is golden ratio? We get golden ratio by 1 by 1 equals to 1, 2 by 1 equals to 2, 3 by 2 equals to 1.5 and 5 by 3 equals to 1.6. If we keep going, we get an interesting number which mathematicians call it as 5. The value of 5 is 1.618. So, where do we find this golden ratio? What are the applications of golden ratio? So, let us know about it. Hold your hand and measure the distance from shoulder to elbow and elbow to fingertips. So, the ratio of a hand is 1 is to 1.618. And there are many applications regarding golden ratio. Those are tornadoes, formation of baby or human body and cyclones etc. If you take any beehive, if you divide the number of female bees and number of male bees, we get a ratio which is called as golden ratio. It is 1 is to 1.618. Recently, Fibonacci numbers and golden ratio are of great interest to the researchers in the many of science. In high high physics also and mecha quantum mechanics and cryptography and coding and many other things. Let us conclude the topic. Fibonacci numbers are the nature's numbering system. Golden ratio and Fibonacci numbers we find everywhere in nature. If we go through the nature, we will find many examples regarding golden ratio and Fibonacci numbers. From it, we find those in single-celled organisms and a small wheat grain and the 
leaves arrangement in plants, the florets of flowers and many other. Thank you.